Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. MC Mora here and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the process of changing characters, particularly buffs and nerfs. It's pretty much gonna be story time with Mora because I will be talking about my experience with Shun Li as a character. Uh, if you've been following me for a long time, you probably know that I used to be a Shun player, right? I used to main this character in one of my earlier videos, I believe, when I, I first started, kind of like last year. Uh, I was saying how like Shun Li is my Pikachu, right? She's a character that I will always fall back on and need when I really want to get that win. But I'm gonna be completely honest and you probably have seen it from all of my recent videos. Especially this season, obviously, I don't really play Shun Li anymore. I kind of switched over to Poison and Cody. And I, I kind of wanted to vent about it and talk about my experience. The main issue for me with Shun Li is that she's a character that didn't get altered in any fun ways. And this is the complete opposite. She actually lost some tools that were kind of fun. When Capcom decided to balance out Chun-Li in Season 5, what they did was that they made the Oki a lot worse on heavy kick legs, they made it so that her standing light kick doesn't really work as an anti-air, unless the opponent doesn't use a jumping attack, and they did alter her standing heavy punch, believe it or not, made it minus 4 from minus 5, and you know, some changes here and there, but these are the major ones, also some changes to like Hazanshu, but no one uses that anyways. But the thing about Chun-Li is that Chun-Li as a character, and I'm gonna be completely honest here, you know, you know Mora is always honest. I do think Chun-Li is a very obnoxious character to fight, right? I don't enjoy fighting Chun-Li when I'm using Mika, I don't enjoy fighting Chun-Li when I'm using Poison, Cody, or even the Mirror, right? And I do think that this is a sentiment that is shared by a good portion of the player base, even in matches that she actually loses. Most players who don't use Shun Li don't enjoy fighting her as a character. Obviously, she have a history with other games as well when she uh, was top tier and all of that. And the reason that people don't like fighting Shun Li is that Shun Li have a very oppressive neutral, right? She's one of these characters who I want to say almost pseudo bottom mashing work with Shun Li, right? Uh, I mean, who enjoys? having to deal with a standing heavy punch spam or like back medium punch she does have a really really strong ex legs that does a lot she have a really good fireball her anti-airs lead to mix-ups her neutral is amazing right she doesn't like whiff punish that well in my opinion into a lot of damage or like amazing situations anymore but the poking can be very obnoxious and that is why people don't like her now Funny enough, up to this point, the way that Capcom have balanced Chun-Li, especially when it comes to a move like her standing heavy punch, is that they made it minus 5 on block. Minus 5 meant that some characters could punish it. For example, Ken, he could use her critical art and from some ranges, he can get a punish. A lot of characters actually have 5 frames uh, critical art, so they were able to punish her on that. And they made the hurt box wider on the back. So that when you happen to jump over it, you are more likely to cross up Shun Li. And unfortunately, that is the direction they kept going on. In season B, what they did is that they made her standing light kick lose to jumping. And this pretty much meant that if the opponent did a jumping attack from the right range, if you standing light kick, you will lose, and if you back heavy kick, you will beat them. But if the empty jump your back heavy kick will whiff and they will get a combo on you. This meant that as it stands right now, every time the opponent is holding up forward, they get a mix up on Chun Li. Right? I, I, I mean, obviously, not that, like, you kind of have to space this situation, but you get the point, right? And let me ask you this Do you enjoy fighting Thess? Do you enjoy fighting Kami? Do you enjoy fighting Akuma that demon flips and air fireballs all day? I don't think any of us do, right? Having to eat a 50-50 mix-up every time the opponent decides to jump is just not fun, right? So I do think when Capcom was balancing the character, they should have looked at what people don't like about Chun Li, and that is pretty much the mindless poking, right? Because a lot of a lot of the times, 
I mean, a good Chun Li will be a mindless poker. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. If the character is good, Chun Li is gonna just put him, she's just gonna poke 24/7. So what they should have done is that they should have taken a look at that. And you know what? We need to come up with a counterplay to that. And it was easy. Just make her have more recovery on whiff, so that the standing heavy punch is whiff punishable. Funny enough, what they did is that they made it minus four. So you can't even punish it on block most of the time now. I mean, I mean like it's like 90% of the roster doesn't get a punish but they kind of didn't address it on whiff at all which is, which is like mind blowing do you enjoy like who enjoys having to deal with opponent jumping every time and do you like that as a way of beating the character like jump on chun -Li nine times and the one time you get to beat her at the ears now you win I don't know if that's a fun way to balance the character what they should have done is that you should have taken a look at her normals that are pretty oppressive and added more recovery on whiff so that the shun player if they are skillful enough they will not whiff them and if they do whiff and if you are the opponent of shun lee you happen to make her whiff you will get a whiff punish and now that will be your way in it will feel good to whiff punish the character right and obviously she will have to be more calculating with her uh, spacing and with her moves i think everyone wins but now Capcom went in a direction where everyone loses. The way to beat Chun-Li is just not fun for either players. Maybe because I do like grounded neutral, but she's like one of the characters you will, you know what, I'm just gonna jump. Especially with a character like Poison, I kind of have a stupid jumping heavy punch, you know what man, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. And that kind of brings me back to, you know, the next patch, because sadly, Along with the nerfs, Shun Li didn't really get any cool new toys. She didn't get any new cool stuff to kind of play around with. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this season of Street Fighter V was how some of the characters got new combos, some of them got new uh, properties to the moves, like for example Ryu with his V-Trigger 2 and all of that, and the changes to V-Trigger 1 as well. Even something as simple as the zoom in on his EXDB with V-Trigger 1, that is really fun and the combo potential on that. They altered the character in a way that's fun. chun -Li just got a combo on Hazanshu, but the move is still really bad so no one uses it and I'm not sure if that is what she needed. So during the next balance patch, my hopes are please don't treat other characters the same way. I would like Capcom to inject some fun in chun -Li, because I'm gonna be completely honest here and uh, I mean, m maybe this is the experience of a Sean player, but I know that she is a character that got like 10, 20,000 costumes, but because Chun Li as a character didn't get changed that much, the costumes were actually kind of like a band aid. It was like fun to dress her up in all these new costumes, and you know what? I mean, I, mean, I feel like we all are like that, right? Even when I moved to PC, when I started having like mods and everything, it was kind of fun for a while. To just play with a different look, but I always get that feeling of been there, done that. Characters that didn't change that much, didn't get anything new that's exciting, and just get kept getting tools taken out of her. I don't know, I just hope that for the next balance patch, the characters that will get nerfed will get nerfed in fun ways, keep the fun in them, make the way to beat them feel good, and kinda force the, the player of the characters that got nerfed to be more skillful and instead of just be annoyed that they can't really do much. Let me know your thoughts about the whole Sean thing and your hopes for the next balance patch. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page, the Discord server page and the Twitter page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.